But in the meantime, I want to raise this with Alex a little, a former assistant U.S. attorney joining us out of Nashville. Uh, what does it mean when you risk opening up something again, uh, to say nothing of how difficult that can be with a can of worms? Now you're 10 days out, an election that has turned topsy-turvy on, on, on a whole new campaign here. Well, what would prompt something like this? Obviously, it's the director having to eat a little crow here, so obviously he embarrasses himself. Democrats are already saying, show us what you've got. But that's tough for him to do, right? I think the entire uh, statement is unprecedented. The letter, his subsequent email to the FBI is unprecedented. It's entirely uh, impossible to know what led Director Comey to do this without him saying more. I think he's going to have to say more because of the pressures and also because of how unusual a step this is to make a statement like this, not just because of the election, but because of the sensitivities of that sort of investigation. You know, Alex, when, when obviously he does something like this, the director does something like this, which is akin to, you know, him dialing something back, doing a 180, embarrassing himself to say nothing sure. of putting the FBI under a new microscope. Sure. It's got to be serious enough for him to do that. Now, the argument that was raised is that if he didn't do this and didn't make these House committees and, 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 and committees that have jurisdiction over these matters aware of this, he would have been called on the carpet later, that the FBI sat on this, didn't let anyone know before the election. So it's got to be important, or does it? I you know, it doesn't. I mean, I think he says in the letter, we don't know the significance yet. What I think is a key tell, more from the email to the FBI employees than the letter to Congress, was his discussion about seeking authority to do more. It looks like the FBI likely was going to get a search warrant for Anthony Weiner's computer. And when they did that, there would be court records, there'd be an affidavit, there'd be a whole paper trail of investigative steps related to these emails. And I think I suspect the director looked at that in a post-election environment and thought he was absolutely in for heat, and so he needed to raise it now to at least tell folks he was going to walk down that path. And we're told, uh, sir, that he was being berated by a number of Republicans who say that he caved, didn't do the thing he should have done, sure. um, you know, and, and, and gone ahead and recommended taking criminal action or recommending the Justice Department do that, which I guess is the procedure. So he's feeling the heat. That would be a very cynical way of gauging this. What do you think? There's there are plenty of cynical views as to why Comey did this. I mean, there are longstanding and very clear policies about not making statements before an election because you don't want to affect the election. But even broader than that is investigators, we don't investigate in public. When you're a prosecutor, you do your investigation quietly, and there's two reasons. First, if the person you're targeting, you know, at the end, the evidence isn't there to indict them, you don't publicly talk about that because you don't charge them. And second, because it, they have no way of responding. Senator Secretary Clinton cannot respond to this. And second, if it is a case that's going to move forward to prosecution, you potentially uh, risk ruining the ability to convict that person at trial by these sorts of disclosures pre-indictment. So there's a long time. Would that, by the way, real quickly, this. would that apply to revealing what you've got, as some Democrats have urged, Hillary Clinton herself urged last night, that that would be tainted evidence then? Well, at this point, the chain of things that Comey has done has violated policy at every step. And so I think the real obligation that he has now is there is an election. He can't bury his head in the sand and pretend like he doesn't play a role now. And he needs to give, I think, the most thorough accounting of what's going on uh, as possible. All right. Thank you, Alex Little, former assistant U.S. Much. attorney.